Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm out today working on a project that I really didn't intend on filming. So uh, it's already started and I'm not going to be able to show you the complete before and after and every step of the way. But uh, I'm not very far along in it and I've got a few before pictures I can include in the video to let you see what it looked like beforehand. But at any rate, I've got a, a uh, little fishing boat that I'm trying to restore for the family to use. Uh, about three years ago, on my first Father's Day, my wife called me and asked me if I wanted a, a boat. Uh, one of the ladies she worked with, her husband had passed away, and she was selling off uh, his little fishing boat. So, long story short, my wife went out, me and my wife went out and we looked at it, and uh, we gave $800 for the, the boat, the motor, trolling motor, trailer, and uh, brought it home, and it's really sat for three years because... <laughs> Life's just been too busy. Uh, we're in the process of building our own house ourselves. We've both got full-time jobs and we have a newborn in the house. So, uh, fishing boat, pretty low priority and we haven't been touching it. But at any rate, uh, three years down the road, we're ready to get it out and start uh, doing some repair work on it, get it spruced up and start enjoying it. So, let me show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the, uh, the boat on the trailer. I've got it upside down right now because I'm, I'm stripping the paint off of the sides and the bottom and uh, it just makes it real easy to get to. So it's just a uh, 14 foot boat, it's a V-hull and uh, I wish I had it the other way around where I could show you the inside of it. There is a little bit of damage on the uh, side here where it, it's kind of rotted away in one or two places on this rail. Overall it's not too bad. Uh, you can fill those in. One of the reasons I stripped the paint off of it was because there was all these globs uh, and I couldn't tell what kind of repair work had been done but uh, it looks like somebody had used a brazen rod and repaired a couple of holes. So those repairs are sound they're not necessarily pretty, but they're sound. Uh, we may dress that up a little bit, get some of the excess off of that. Uh, there are a few places where there are holes where rivets have come out that need to be addressed. Uh, nothing too bad, though. And the, uh, the wood on the transit, I think, is good. There is some damage back here. I'm going to try and see maybe if I can get this uh, dent here out maybe and then there's a uh, small nick in it right here I need to repair that but overall it's a 45 year old boat and it's not in bad shape it's uh, definitely salvageable so the interior of it uh, I've already pulled all the platforms out I have those over here trying to save them maybe I can use them for a template for the, uh, the new deck but on the front we had a uh, little small casting deck with a pedestal uh, and then over here this is the, the middle of the boat this seat goes right in front of the where the rear bench would be and then uh, there's a live well in the middle of the boat and then this comes up to the front bench so you just have a, a flat bottom to work in there I'll probably put an extra pedestal right here for a, a third seat and uh, that's about what we have there it did come with the spare tire and uh, winch and anchor and little piddly stuff and a uh, Minn Kota transom mount uh, trolling motor it's a 30 pound thrust I think yeah 30 pound thrust 5, five speed so just a basic uh, small trolling motor and then uh, let me show you the, the outboard that came with it alright so this is the outboard that came with the boat uh, you can see it's a Yamaha 4 stroke 8 horsepower and uh, it's a 2011 and 
and it's been sitting in my shop for three years so it's only been in the water being used for the first three years of its life and then for the last three it's been sitting here so I'm sure I'll have to degum the carburetor on it but other than that it's nowhere near worn out it should be a good good serviceable little engine when I get ready to use it so let's go back and take another look at the boat all right so you can see uh, I've already stripped about half of the boat before I started uh, filming this project and I've got to go ahead and finish doing the other half of the boat now and then we'll flip it over and we'll strip everything out of the inside get all the foam out of it clean it up and uh, do some leak checks make sure it's completely serviceable and uh, then at that point we'll start going back together with it but for today that's uh, that's what the project's going to look like and then uh, when we're done done with the boat we'll also come back and uh, strip the trailer down to bare metal uh, get a good coat of paint on it and probably upgrade these tires I really don't like the little small uh, tires there on it so we'll probably probably upgrade those a little bit but uh, anyway y'all keep checking back and uh, hopefully before very long we'll have this thing back together and ready to go out in the water and enjoy fishing with it <laughs>